Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So I thought today we would do a little bit of an experiment. It's been a while since I did an experiment like this. But basically, I'm gonna take two sims, see if I can make them fall in love. There is a catch, however. I've given all of my sim, I've given both these sims characteristics and conversation topics. So this sim here, her name's Skylar, I have rated her like and dislike for every single conversation topic, and the guy that she's going to be shacking up with for 24 hours, Carter over here, he also has likes and dislikes for every single conversation topic, and they are completely opposite. So everything he hates, she loves. Everything she loves, he hates. So social interaction should be quite difficult with these two. But I have also made the most of the compatibility system and I've given Carter characteristics argumentative, emotional decision maker and pessimistic and I've given Skylar the traits that should conflict with his characteristics and then I've done the same the other way around so every trait that he has she shouldn't like so she doesn't like so she likes ambitious Le Sims Carter is ambitious you get the idea so we're going to move them into a little house. I'm going to give myself 24 sim hours to see if I can get these two to fall in love. I have made them a little, a little home here. Don't worry about the colour scheme. I didn't really think too much about it, so it's a bit of an eyesore. But we're going to put them both inside. They've only got one bed, so they're going to have to share a bed. Now, in theory, they shouldn't really be able to even become friends. Like, they shouldn't get along at all. We'll take the front door away, of course we will. So it should be really difficult to get them to fall in love. But I guess it depends on how well this system works. So they should have, yes, awful compatibility. Perfect. All right, you know what? You're not gonna go cook there, Skylar. Instead, you guys are gonna cook together, all right? We need to start working together as a team if we're gonna fall in love. Why don't we make some mac and cheese? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Our first little activity together. Come on, Carter, pull your weight. Ah, oh, who saw that coming? Of course she started a fire. Oh, this is gonna be over before it even began and we took away the door. <laughs> so we're not gonna have any firefighters, but at least she got out of the way of the fire. Right, just extinguish it, guys. Oh, God damn, simple mac and cheese. Okay, cook together again. This time, salad. You can't fuck up a salad. Okay, great, great. You can sit at the table together. Oh yeah, this is great. This is like some first date stuff. So how about we um, talk about our hobbies, discuss local fishing spots, maybe. Enthuse about interests, tell a funny story. I think Sims that don't, that don't like certain conversation topics, I think it's kind of hit and miss. Like maybe they'll, they'll accept like three interactions and then they'll kick off for the fourth. Because I've had Sims that hate jokes laugh at them before, so I, th I feel like it's not every time, but sometimes it misses. Maybe we'll tell a few jokes, discuss interests, how about we gossip a little bit? Well, I mean I'm only a couple of minutes into gameplay, but it doesn't really seem, other than it telling me that they've got awful compatibility. Oh, there we go. They just had a negative interaction. Okay, I was just about to say, it doesn't really seem like there's anything different about these sims. Complain about the sunny weather, maybe? Compliment Carter's facial hair? Discuss a little bit of world peace? I mean, they are building some kind of friendship. Ah, oh, still acquaintances. Apparently, Carter really doesn't like stories. So let's tell him a story. We'll tell him three stories in a row. See what he thinks. Dramatic story. Unbelievable story. Is he enjoying the story? Oh, maybe not. No, he did not like that story. Oh, it's good to see this is actually impacting gameplay. It seems to be more of an even split with some interactions going well and some going not so well. Oh, you're getting tired. Well, I guess this this will be a bit of a test. Let's see if they'll sleep in the same bed together. Yeah, no, she definitely doesn't want to sleep in a bed with him. Okay, come and sleep on the couch then. No night, guys. Oh, she's embarrassed. Why? Awkward comment. <laughs> oh, Skylar, I've been there. I don't know, though. I just feel like with enough perseverance, I can make any Sims fall in love. Whenever I've done this experiment before, I've only ever had Sims that have, like, opposite traits, you know? Like, a slob and a neat Sim. 
and I've never usually had a problem getting them to fall in love. But this is kind of a different ball game, isn't it? If they're rejecting most of each other's conversations and have bad compatibility. But I guess we'll just have to see. How have you grown that beard overnight? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's sort that out a little bit. And then we'll see if we can make some progress. Enthuse about fitness. Maybe he likes fitness. Now, I know he doesn't like stories. Well, actually, I know that he doesn't like everything we like. We could try a hip bump, maybe, as a sign of affection. Give him a pep talk. Oh, sweet, he did the hip bump. I think he likes complaining, so we can complain about the weather. I think probably small talk is our best bet. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. He's not looking too happy. Maybe share some photos. He may not be into us now, but if we show him some nudes, maybe we will change your mind. Okay, so I think we've, we've got until about 8 p.m. Is that gonna be enough time to f get them to fall in love? I don't know. We seem to be making very small bits of progress before taking a step back. Have we, uh, have we moved past acquaintances yet? No, not even friends. On Thanksgiving of all days. Okay, should we cook together again? Maybe we could cook a grand meal together? Like a turkey dinner, maybe? Oh dear, the jokes just aren't landing, are they? Well, maybe, hopefully they'll chat while they're cooking. Maybe make a little bit of small talk. Guys, you don't have to cook in complete silence. Oh, they do have a sentiment, though, of cooking together. Ah, oh, see? So when you guys aren't getting on, you know, you could always just remember the cooking times. They were good times, huh? Oh, slaving over that turkey meal and you're eating a fucking salad. Clean it up. So disrespectful. Oh, I see. Right, now, now I see why you picked up the salad. Because the turkey's green. This is nice. Sitting together, enjoying our gruel. Maybe we could, um, dance together? Aw, enjoy company. That's so sweet. Okay, I think we should try from Carter's point of view now. We'll see if we can get him to do a bit more, make a bit more of the effort. Unpleasant conversation. <laughs> okay, we've gone back, we've gone to casual. That's good. Okay, it seems interacting while dancing helps. It helps loosen him up a little bit. Unpleasant conversation again. Oh, she did not like his photos. I mean, part of me feels kind of disappointed because I don't think we're gonna get to use that bed. But also part of me is quite impressed that it is such a struggle to get these guys to even become friends. Offensive conversation. <laughs> Right, can we try and maybe build that up a little bit? Okay, it's still an unpleasant conversation, uh, but their friendship is building slowly. What if we watch a movie together? Uh, watch Simda. There we go, with Skylar. If I can get them both flirty, maybe they can do some, like, couch interactions. Okay, we're watching a movie. Could we maybe ask a risque question, perhaps? Oh, no. <laughs> That was a bad choice. He's so offended that we asked a risque question that he burst into tears. Are we still just acquaintances? I think we are. Oh yeah, just acquaintances. I mean, at this point, I'd be happy just to become friends, you know? We could show off our muscles. We could show off our muscles and enthuse about fitness. Oh, these two are just never gonna be friends, are they? I'm seeing a lot of blunders. Yeah, this, uh, their relationship has really not improved at all. It's gone up slightly and then gone back down. All right, I can see you guys are getting tired. Well, she is, so she can take a little nap. Just put that turkey dinner away. Oh no, we pissed off the gnome. We gave it a toy. I thought gnomes loved toys. And then we got struck down by lightning. Okay, let's see if Skylar can appease the gnome. What if we sing to it? Sing together. Maybe that'll make the gnome happy. I can't have a gnome pissed off with me. Not on top of all my other problems. Damn it, Carter, you have really fucked up. Okay, the gnome has forgiven us and is happy with us again. Okay, great. Now let's see if we can try and build that relationship up with Carter. We just watched a movie, so we can talk about the movie. He can't be upset about that. Chat about the actors. Oh, no, turns out he can be pissed off about that. These guys are just impossible. I'm now convinced that there is no way they will woohoo. All right, why don't you just dance with Carter? Just keep your mouth shut. And just enjoy... Okay, no, he didn't want to join in. Okay. Well, we're down to the last two hours. We've spent 22 hours with just each other's company. And um, 
we're still just acquaintances. I mean, it could be worse. They could be disliked. But I'm going to try and spend the rest of the time we have together just trying to get along. You know, try and build some sort of relationship. It'd be funny if by the end of this, they not only remain as acquaintances, but they also end up being disliked. I wonder if I just keep getting them to interact with each other, whether that will happen. Probably not. It won't happen in like 45 sim minutes. But they definitely don't seem too keen on each other. But you know what? I'm pretty happy about that. Don't get me wrong, it's always a shame when you can't get Sims to woohoo, but it does go to show that this compatibility system actually works. I think it's a mixture of their bad compatibility and also that they have opposite conversation topics. But using both of them, I mean, it works. It works. These Sims are about as incompatible as you can get. They're never going to be friends. Certainly never going to have a relationship. Every time a conversation seems to be going well, it, al it also... It always seems to turn into either boring or offensive. And I think we've passed the 24 hour mark. And their relationship is kind of pretty much as if they were strangers. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about this actually. So on that note, I'm gonna end this video here. I'd say this experiment has gone well. And I'm quite impressed that this feature actually works. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.